So we're in 4.4 and we're talking about um, inequalities. So one thing that's important is knowing how to represent information and represent the intervals, for example, because the solution to an inequality is more often than not going to be a range of values, not a specific value. So we have two different things, uh, set builder notation and interval notation. And I don't know why it was black there, but now it should be blue. So set builder notation would be something like this. You'd say, let's just do a number line. Here's negative one and here's three and might be a solid circle here and an open circle there. So set builder not notation would be like this. We use these braces. If you find them on the keyboard, um, it's next to like the P button. If you hit shift, looking at my keyboard and you do, it depends on the variable you're working with. You can say X. Then you do a vertical line. The vertical line means such that, x such that, and then you give the conditions for x. So like negative 1 is less than or equal to x less than 3. And that's how we'd express that in set builder notation. It's a more form formal way of writing the uh, values that are within a set of um, a solution set for an inequality. And to do interval notation, though, we would just do a squared off bracket for the place where it's equal to it. Get that squared off bracket. Negative one comma, and it goes up to three, but it's not equal to three. We have that open circle, so we'll have a parenthesis. So an open circle is related to a, is represented by a parenthesis. And we see here in this chart, and I, I just took this chart from the book, so you can, um, you can look at that in the book if you want. I'm sure you've all read the book. Anyway, um, so for example, all real numbers between A and B, but not including A or B. So in set builder notation, it's this A is less than X less than B, so X such that this happens. And in interval notation, we have the two parentheses, parenthesis A comma B close parenthesis. All the real numbers greater than A, but not including A. So brace x such that a vertical line such that x is greater than a or in this case a to infinity so take a look at this um, overall chart i'm not going to read through the whole thing you're able to read these things uh, you can pause and read it or you can actually go into the text and read it so it says use interval notation to indicate all real numbers between negative three and five so and set builder notation. Let me just see. Okay, I just said interval, so we'll just stick with interval. Between negative three and five. So it didn't say it's inclusive of them. So we would say parenthesis negative three, comma five. I do feel like I need to say this. In set builder, that would be x such that negative three is less than x less than five. So it didn't say including three and five or negative three and five. Oh, it is the including. Oh, totally missed that. Between and including. Okay, so let me correct myself. I could just erase that video, part of the video and re-record it, but I'm not going to do that. I have my errors in all here. So we have the brackets instead of the parentheses, and we do our equals there. Okay, so since it's including negative 3 and 5 and all the stuff in between. And let's do the next one. Rewrite an interval notation, all real numbers that are greater than or equal to 1. So that means to negative 1. So negative 1, it's greater than or equal to, it's negative 1, it's the low point, comma, to infinity. Now I want to stress something here. Infinity always has a parenthesis with it because you're never at infinity. And you can verify that up here with this chart. You know, the infinity's always got, or negative infinity, always has a parenthesis with it. Okay, and might as well brace x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 1. That's how we do that in set builder notation. Okay, example 2, express all real numbers less than negative 2 or greater than or equal to 3. So here, this is an interesting way to, to write this because we have two different, if you look at this on a number line, we're looking at here's negative two and it's less than the open circle shaded down and then greater than or equal to three so three is up here 
got a filled in circle and it goes up. So we want all this. Well, we can't represent this with one in, um, interval, so we're going to have to do this with two. So we say negative infinity to negative two, and then we have a three to infinity. But we have to join these together, so these are not overlapping. So we do this big U for union. I kind of exaggerated the U. It doesn't have to be that big. It could just be a capital U. But it's the union of these two sets is bringing them all together. Okay. Next video, we're going to talk about inequalities.